Hi, my name is Jürgen Sito and today I want to talk about Performance Head, an approach that was developed at the University of Zurich. Performance Head wants to integrate runtime traces collected from production environments into the workflow of software developers by augmenting source code with performance information in the IDE. Before I dive into the tool, I want to explain the motivation for this. Performance problems are often only observed and reported in production of a software system. When these problems are reported, developers then have the challenging task to reason about runtime behavior and determine why certain parts of their code do not exhibit some of the desired performance properties. For some problems, this reasoning can be supported by information provided by profilers executed in a local environment in a developer's workstation. However, there is a whole class of performance anomalies that occur in production that cannot be solved by this local information coming from a profiler. This has to do uh, that in production, there's not just one server we're deploying to. We're dealing with complex systems. These systems often have a distributed architecture, have infrastructure that scales with demands, and all this eventually means that to reason about the inner workings of the systems, we have to rely on scattered trace information. Tracing this, uh, class, this class of problems back to the origin of the source code and debugging them requires the inspection of runtime traces from these complex production systems. With Performance Ad, we want to integrate runtime traces into the daily developer workflow but by augmenting the source code view in the IDE, in this case Eclipse, with performance information. By doing that, we want to bring these runtime metrics into the context of the current task developers are working on, and given this knowledge on a code level, we want to pre prevent bad things from happening. So here is one particular method from, from one of our, our um, case study applications. And uh, as you see, this is not your regular Eclipse view. What you have here, if you hover over those annotations, is additional information about the production runtime system. So here we know that generate tree takes, on average, 459 milliseconds to run in production. And now uh, what I'm showing you here is a debug use case where we go through this method and try to figure out why, why it is so slow. So for this, we can go into the, the sub-methods here and see, okay, this might be one of the culprits. And we go into the implementation of this, and then we can, can continue debugging. And now we can see uh, that this loop, for instance, on average has 417 milliseconds, but only three iterations, uh, three to four iterations on average. So let's continue looking. And we see here that this authorization call has on average 108 milliseconds. So if you want to look into that, we can, we can then figure out what, what the actual uh, operational footprint is of these, these methods. And here we can see that all these methods uh, take 40 milliseconds. They, they call into the database. And so here is where the issue is. And now as a developer, given this information, I can immediately figure out what the refactoring steps are. Um, but let me just jump into the second use case I want to show you. And this is uh, the preventing bad things from happening part that I, I discussed before. So let's say we have this method called uh, retrieve leaf stories. Now this retrieve leaf stories has 98 milliseconds on average. Now there's a to do here, so there's a change request to add additional information to this uh, transfer object, test to TO. So let's oblige and continue programming this up. So we have uh, task our entry and we can get this from task to get our entries. All right, and we need to sum this up. So we sum the entry dot get minute spent up here and set it in set effort spent. Okay, so now introducing this new piece of code, what, what we do is we send this uh, in addition to the information we have on, on method level uh, to an inference model. And what it does is it, it predicts what's happening here. So it, through transfer learning, we get information about this method here, get minutes spent. And we can see that on average, although this is a getter, in production, it takes 78 milliseconds to, to get those minutes here, probably through lazy loading, uh, probably because it's hitting IO. Uh, so we can look into this later on. But what the nice thing that, that performance hack gives you is this inference part and also propagation. So given this, we propagate this information up over the loops we have here all the way up to retrieve leaf stories, where we can now see that, that this method has increased a, approximately fivefold. So we know exactly that this is something that cannot go to production. This is something that we need to uh, adapt right away. And this instant feedback is one of the core contributions of Performance Hat.